okay so today we are going to be doing the question count the nodes in a complete binary tree okay so the question says that we are given a complete binary tree and by the way if you don't know the definition of the complete binary tree so it states that the nodes in a binary tree should be like filling in the form of left to right so the nodes should be in the form of left to right and uh, let's say in the last row this could be the exception that all the nodes that are going to be the level by level should be filling from left to right and the last one or the last height we can say that this is the one two and the third height so in this case all the nodes above this third height should be filled from left to right and there should be no gap in between so let's say if there is a gap here then this is not a complete binary tree because the level is not filled completely so if we do this then this is a complete binary tree and if we attach this node then this is also complete binary tree but if we do this then this is not a complete binary tree because the nodes should be filled from the left to right manner and here we can see that this is here a gap so it should be like this so now this is a complete binary tree so the last height or the last level is an exception but uh, and also that it should be filled from left to right manner so now what we have to do is we have to count the nodes in the complete binary tree so let's say we are given a tree here and this is a complete binary tree so one approach could be that uh, you go to every level let's say we have a variable name count and here is c so what we are going to do is either we can pass it uh, let's say this is a global variable count and what we are going to do is we are going to traverse all the nodes and uh, count them so let's say we use recursion and uh, first we are at this node count increase then first we are going to the left here also let's increase the count and then we came here let's increase the count to three and now it is null so we are going to return we are going to come here this is also null we are going to return and from here we are going to return here and after that we have to complete the right part so we are going to come here increase the count to four then from here go to left this is null return back go to right this is null return back then after that return back return back and from here let's go to the right part now this is five let's go to left this is null return back go to right this is null return back so this approach is going to take big o n time and the space complexity is going to be log of n which is going to be the height of the binary tree so now this is one approach and the space complexity is this because at max the number of recursion that we have formed is going to be equal to the height of the tree because let's say we are at this level so currently we have this part here and we came here we have this part then we came here we have this part stored and after that we came here but this is null so we return so this part will be gone and we are going to come at this part so that's why the the space complexity is log of n which is the height and now this is the one approach but the question says that we have to be 
a bit more optimal than big O n. So a hint here that is given is it should be log n square. So how are we going to do that? Let's see. Again, let's draw a complete binary tree. Okay. So let's think about this. To calculate a height of a tree, let's say we are given a tree in this manner. So if I say here you can see that this is the full binary tree and the thing is that if I ask you to count the number of nodes in this tree. So we know the formula that if we know the height of the tree which we can easily calculate by traversing to the either leftmost or the rightmost. Leftmost leaf or the rightmost leaf. So we calculated the height and the height came to be 3. So if I ask you to calculate the number of nodes in this one, so it is going to be 2 to the power which is the height 3 minus 1. So 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8, 8 minus 1, 7. So if we count this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it came to be 7. So now we are assured that if we are able to like uh, calculate that uh, if my tree or even my subtree is a full binary tree, then I can easily calculate the number of nodes using this. So if I ask that, if I only want to calculate this part of the subtree, or if I want to calculate the number of nodes in this part of the subtree, I can easily use this formula. All I have to do is just check out that if my leftmost and the rightmost height is equal or not and if they are equal then I can easily calculate the number of nodes using this formula which is 2 to the power n minus 1 or 2 to the power h minus 1 which is the height. So that's how I can easily calculate this. So in this approach uh, what I'm going to do here, let's see. I know that this is a complete binary tree. So this means that the last level can be complete or incomplete. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate the leftmost and the rightmost height. And I'm going to compare if my left height is actually equal to right height, which in this case, it's not because 1, 2, 3, 4. The left height is 4 and the right height is 3. So this in this case it is unequal. So what I'm, I'm going to do is let's see. At that point I was here but uh, now I'm going to come back to here and I know that this node is 1. The, num the number of nodes at this point is 1. So I'm going to go back to here. Now I'm going to calculate that if this part of the subtree is the left height of it and the right height are equal or not. So go here, go here. Left height is 3, right height is 2. So this in this case it is also unequal. So let's see what I'm going to do. Again, 1. This is also 1. Now, I'm going to come back here. Now, again, I'm going to calculate this part of the subtree. So, in this case also, the left height and right height are unequal. 
in this case it is 2 in this case it is 1 so this is also an equal I'm going to add 1 and go back here now again calculate the left height and the right height in this case it is equal because it is 1 1 so I'm going to use the formula 2 to the power n minus 1 and it is still going to be 1 so here you know that this is actually the worst case because in the complete binary tree if it was if the tree was like this you would have like easily got the answer by just simply calculating the left height and the right height which is going to be left height is equals to right height in this case 3 3 and you would have easily gotten the answer 2 to the power 3 minus 1 but this is actually the worst case that you can actually get so let's complete this part now uh, this part is uh, null and this part is null this part is null and now we are going to come here and again calculate the left and the right these both are null so just simply we are going to return one and in this part we have actually gotten the total number of nodes of the left side which is actually one two three four now for the right side it is actually going to be pretty easy because this subtree we can actually calculate that in this left height and the right height which in this case is going to be two two and at this point we are simply going to use our formula two to the power h minus one which in this case is going to be four minus one three and simply we are going to return that and if we do the total then we are going to get our answer which is going to be one one three four five six seven eight so eight nodes we are going to get uh, let's uh, try some other case okay so in this case we are going to go to the left left we got our heights for the left which is 3 for the right it is 2 so we have to go further down the tree have this count here calculate the height of the subtree which is going to be 2 and let's do 2 to the power 2 minus 1 is going to be 3 so we are going to get back a uh, 3 from here and for the right part it is 1 because uh, the nodes are null and we are going to get our answer 3 4 and 5 so our answer is 5 let's try some other case okay so in this case you can see that uh, the left height and the right height are unequal 4 for the left height and 3 for the right height so these are unequal so store it here and we are going to move for the left side first and here you can see that if I calculate the left height and the right height this is actually equal 3 from the left height and 3 from the right side so for this subtree we have actually calculated uh, the number of nodes for this and just two log height minus one because one level we have actually skipped and we have only traversed this side and this side and we have not traversed down the these nodes so that's why this is a bit more time uh, time efficient so we have calculated the number of nodes here 1 2 3 so 2 to the power 3 minus 1 is 8 minus 1 7 so 
this we have calculated 7 at this point and for the right part this is actually also going to be E so calculate the left height calculate the right height it is going to be 2 to the power 2 minus 1 3 so we have calculated the 3 here 7 here just add it with uh, 1 here 7 and 3 and we have got our answer 11 so that's how it is and uh, let's see how it actually looks in the code so to calculate the left height i have used this all you have to do is just uh, travel down to the left 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 and you will be able to get the left height and for the right height you just have to go to the right nodes right node right node and you can get that and because we have to calculate the power so i have created my own power function which is going to give me the power in 2 to the power oh, sorry in the log in time so like if you go with the traditional method all you have to do is do this 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 so there is a bit more optimal answer for that which is going to give you the power in log in time so this is the power function which is going to give me the power in log in time so that's why i've created this and here you can see that here i'm checking if my left height is actually equal to the right height if it is then i know that uh, that part of the subtree uh, the number of nodes there is here then the power function it is 2 so this is the 2 to the power and minus 1 part and if it's not equal then i have to go further down in the left subtree and the right subtree which is which is what i am doing here and to include the count of that specific node which i'm using uh, which i'm using so i have kept the count for that here and for the left subtree and the right subtree i have went down there and the rest is the same so this is the code for that and uh, here you can see here you can see the code for that and uh, that's about it for this